MachineTutorials.com. Yo, what's good? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Here with a quick video for those using Bitwig and Machine, and you want to be able to route your MIDI internally and record your MIDI in real time without going into controller mode and things like that. I want to show you how it's done. It's pretty straightforward. So, the first thing I want to do is load up a couple kits. So, just load up two kits this time, and just to have a couple different things going on. So, just some basic kits. So I got those kits loaded up. First thing I want to do is set up my MIDI batch settings. So I right click on the group, go to sounds, the MIDI notes. I want to do that on each one of these. And then what I want to do is I want to come in and choose all of my pads. I want to come over to the sound. For the input, I want to turn MIDI through off. That just makes sure that no MIDI that's coming into the plugin actually gets sent back out and causes a MIDI feedback loop. So anytime you're setting up something like this, just make sure to turn that off just in case you, you know, some DAWs may give you a feedback loop, some may not, but I just say turn that on anyway because that's what it's there for. So we'll turn that on. We'll come to the outputs and under the MIDI tab, go to host and we're going to leave this on channel one. The last thing you want to do here is at the group level for the input, you want to activate it, give it a channel. We're going to be channel one and then set this to C3 just because that's what machine uses as the default. And we're going to do the same thing on this channel or this group. So on this input, we'll activate it. We're going to put this on channel two. Again, set it to C3. And I want to choose all my pads. Make sure you're on sound, output, host, channel 2, input. Just make sure that that MIDI through is turned off. So we have everything set up inside the machine, and now we want to set it up in Bitwig. So I'll go over here, and I'm just going to create two instrument tracks. You can see the machine disappeared. We can pull it back up if we want. doesn't really matter. So you come down here to your inputs and outputs. So for your input, you come down under tracks and choose where it says machine 2. So that means the MIDI is coming from the machine track. Then for your output, you come down where it says notes to tracks. You go to plugins. I'm going to choose machine. You can see the channel right there. And then on this one, choose machine. And we're going to put this one on channel two. So now we're pretty much ready to go in terms of being able to actually go in and record MIDI data. So I'm going to MIDI enable that track. Put a little basic two bar um, clip in there and I'll turn on overwrite record. So now if I play this clip, as long as overwrite is turned on, I can actually, you know, record a pattern. So I'll just press play. Let me put the metronome on really quick. So you can see it's actually triggering it. I come over here and do the same thing as long as I switch my channels. So turn that one on. This one I'll just come over here, make another two bar. And you can see right here we got our overwrite turned on. And like I said, if I press play, I can start recording. So You can see we can keep building them up. The one thing you can't do inside of Bitwig is I can't make, say, another instrument track and send it to the same channel. So if I wanted to, say, do my kick and snare on one channel and then put another instrument track and do a hi-hat from the same group, I can't do it. They have to be on separate channels. So that's one thing to remember. And another thing I want to show you really quick is it's really simple to kind of split out your tracks or split out your channels, your audio channels. So Let's just do it at the group level. We'll just say group output and I'm going to send this to maybe external two and this one I'm going to send to external three. So inside of Bitwig, as long as you're on that device, I can come right here to the outputs and you can see it says add chain. So I can add individual chains one at a time. I say just add missing chains. It's going to add all of them and these are going to be all of your outputs right here. You can actually build up chains. And you can expand it so if you want to see them that way you can as well but you'll notice as we play So 
you can see that 8-bit effect is just on that hi-hat and then I have a separate chain for this group maybe I want to go in and add um, I don't know we do frequency shift or whatever and you'll see them show up here so you can add them here as well or down here it just depends on what view you're looking at so if you want to have it closed you can add them down here if you want to open it up you can add them up there but again these are the effects on the individual outputs that you send out a machine and you can see all of them right there or all of them up there so So hopefully that kind of shows you how you can do it. Some really, you know, straightforward routing inside of Bitwig and then being able to quickly expand all your outputs from the plugin, from the machine plugin and add effects on the individual outputs. It's good for, you know, sending out groups or sending out individual pads if you want to just add effects to individual hits or whatever. It's really cool to be able to do that. So again, just make sure you set up those instrument tracks and make sure you send it to the plugin and change the individual channels. And then don't forget inside a machine, make sure or at your sound level, you don't have through turned on so you don't get that MIDI feedback. But again, if you got any questions, let me know. This is St. Joe, machinetutorials.com, showing you how to set up machine inside of Bitwig Studio so you can record your MIDI in real time as well as quickly um, routing out your audio tracks. So again, if you got any questions, let me know. I'll see y'all later. Peace.